everybody, it's Jeff Cavalier again, back for our second edition of the Washboard Wednesday Athlean X Show. Um, hope you guys have been doing the exercises from last week's episode. And really, this is our personal journey in 12 weeks to get you the washboard abs that you want. However, there's a couple of things I want to cover this week, now that you're a little bit established and you've been doing the exercises, that are really going to be foundations of, of your success. Anybody can tell you there's so many things that you hear all the time. You got to do cardio, you got to do cardio, you got to cut calories, you got to go high carb diet, low carb diet, no fat, high fat, like all this stuff. Guys, it's not that hard. It really isn't. There's a, f there's a certain few things I want you to follow. Start implementing them this week, and I'm telling you, they're going to help you strip off the fat so that you can start to see these abs that you're creating underneath, okay? First thing is water. Drink a lot of water throughout the day. There's, no, there's really no substitute. You can drink coffee, and people drink milk, and people, but it's not the same as water. This little Poland Spring bottle here is... I believe it's 12 ounces or so, or you know, 15 ounces. A trick that someone told me a while ago that I, I, you know, I use now. I don't need to use it as much, but at the beginning I did was to put a couple of rubber bands around the bottle. You drink the bottle. Let's take, say you take, you put four if it's this small. Pull a rubber band off, fill it up again, and drink it again. When you empty it again, take another rubber band off, fill it up again. It's a way of track how many bottles you drink throughout the day, or otherwise you're going to lose track. So make sure you're drinking probably between 80 and 100 ounces for most of you guys. Second thing is, let's go back to the whole issue about cardio. Forget it, guys. I'm telling you, you do not need cardio to strip off the fat. You don't. It's a good diet and strength training. If you haven't already, check out the Athlean X workouts. We have total body workouts, upper body, lower body, core, everything we possibly can need. We have them there. Go, go to athleanx.com right over here and click on them and get those workouts. But for the core, the last thing is diet. Guys, don't get so confused with all this high carb, no carb, low carb stuff. It's not worth it. Carbs are very important. Let's start by having you limit your fats. Pick out the foods that have a lot of fat in it. Your sweets, your chocolates, your butters, your, your cream sauces, your mayos, your, anything that has a lot of fat in it, let's cut it out this week. Let's take it out of the diet just replace it with different different condiments if you were if you're putting it on a sandwich or you know put some ketchup put mustard put salsa put you know uh, low fat uh, salad dressings any of that stuff make your substitutions take your whole milks out use not fat milk you're going to you're going to be thankful that you did when you do it you guys are going to slice a lot of calories off 9 calories per gram of fat versus 4 for a carbohydrate or a protein it's double the amount so cut those fats out. Let's get started. I'm going to introduce five new exercises that I want you to do every day this week. Remember, abs can be trained every single day. You're not going to overtrain. Let's start with these next five exercises, and we'll carry us through to there will be a show this Saturday where I'm probably going to feel some questions because I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys out there, and I appreciate it. I'm going to feel some of those questions, and we'll discuss those on Saturday. But let's start with the exercises. Okay, guys, the first exercise this week on the second week of Washboard Wednesday it's something I call the ISO reverse crunch. Well, with a typical reverse crunch, what most people do is you see them come here and then they swing their legs up like that. We kind of did that heels to the heavens last week. It's a great exercise, but you have to do it with strict form. You don't want to use momentum. You want to use your lower body, your lower stomach. What we do with the ISO reverse crunch is actually pin our heels to our butt. Okay, we don't want to have any kind of momentum from our legs extending here. So. Keep your heels up against your butt as much as you can. If you have tight quads, it will be a little bit more difficult. But from here, your hands down at your side and simply lift your butt up from there. Just trying to get your butt off the ground, right up from your tailbone. The next exercise is one called one down, two up. It's a little variation of what we did last week the heels to the heavens. And again, what I just said was, you want to make sure that you're not using momentum to move your, you know, to move your body here. You're using abdominal strength, core strength to move your body. It's the only way you're going to get real results. But what the variation is, instead of having right here, we have a one down, which means one leg is going to come down. Obviously, this is going to require my stomach to brace even a little bit more. Then I'm going to bring it back up, and then two up, all right? Two up, and then I go the other side. One down, bring it up, press two up. So one down, two up.
I'm sure you guys see a lot of people doing crunches at the gym. What we want to do is A, do them right, and B, use a medicine ball to enforce that we do them right. When we get back into our crunch position, which is exercise number three here this week, you'll see people put themselves in this position here, which is correct. They'll start doing their crunches, and as they get tired, you can start to see those legs drop more and more and more. It gets harder for the lower body and core to hold your legs out. The weight of your legs starts to make it more difficult as you fatigue. Well, let's do that right, and now let's make it harder by putting the med ball out on the ends of our feet right there and balancing it. Now, you can either keep your hands behind your head here for more, more challenge because more weight to lift, or cross them across your chest here and let your knees head toward your elbows head towards your knees. Don't let that ball drop. If you do, you gotta start over from one. Alright guys, time to step up the difficulty a little bit here in week two. This is called the commando or downhill crunch. Take an ordinary bench, take a chair, take a stair in your house, anywhere where you can put yourself on a decline. You're going to come out like this. You put your feet up on the stair or elevated platform. Stabilize your upper body here. Keep your elbows almost locked out. Now, basically, you're going to take your right knee, cross it across your body towards your left hand. Crunch up. Actually try to squeeze your abdominals in here. really works the obliques in a real challenging way. Alright guys, let's wrap up this episode of Washboard Wednesday with one that I like to call the standing tubing over twist. You've probably seen a standing tubing twist before where you take the band, you're rotating, you're rotating back and forth. That does work the core in, in definitely an important way. Everything is not about just crunching. Your core controls and produces rotation. So, let's take it though and, and, and twist it up a little bit. No pun intended. Let's take yourself right here, get to that center position. So I'm already working because this is the relaxed starting position right here. Let's engage the abs, get it to the starting position here, right in, in, in the center of my chest. Now, let's rotate beyond that. Now my exercise is decelerate it, control it back to center. There's still a lot of tension right here trying to pull me that way. And let's go back again. So I'm going from this over twist position to the neutral position, but never to the relaxed position, which is different than the normal standing tubing exercise. Let's get right here. Here, here, control. All right, guys, so that's it for the second edition of Washboard Wednesday here on the Athlete X Show. Guys, it's really simple, I'm telling you. This is our journey in 12 weeks to get you six-pack abs. What do we need today? Again, we stayed confined to our Xbox, which is great for me. I love it here. But we don't need much space, number one. Number two, we just need our bodies. We have a medicine ball. We used a chair, some sort of elevated platform, and a piece of tubing. That's all we needed to get everything that we need to get done. And guys are going to get results using just that little bit of equipment. Don't forget to water as well. Remember the, the, the things I told you about the water and the first thing that we're making in our diet, the modification of limiting the fat. Okay, that's all we need to do. What I want you to do here is, if you want to continue to get these workouts, click over here and subscribe to the Athlean X channel, which is right here, Athlean X channel on YouTube. And secondly, go over and check out the workouts. We get all the workouts, upper body, lower body, core, every single thing. Plus, we have challenges. One thing we haven't talked about, there's a unique Athlean challenge every fourth week to test you to see where are you at. How much better can you be? It's really a self-motivating tool that's going to keep people on the program. You, you cannot fail on this program because you're going to stay on it until you achieve the results you want to get. That's over here at the at athleanx.com. Go check it out. Guys, we'll be back on Saturday. We'll talk again. We'll have a different kind of, uh, a different kind of episode. And then next week, we'll hit these exercises. We'll change them all up. Do these exercises from now until next week, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday.